In today's studio vlog, I've got a lot of things going on. So I wanted to take you through my day as a teaching artist. Now, just a disclaimer, not every day is as busy as this, but today it just seems like all of the things are happening. <laughs> one, of the, one of the benefits of being able to work from home and have a very flexible job is that I can make my own hours. So I do work part-time for my church, but it's like very few hours. And then because of my flexibility, I'm able to do you know personal errands in the midst of my job stuff too. So one of the personal stuff that I got to take care of today is that this morning charcoal has to go to the vet. It's just an annual checkup, no big deal. And then after that, I've got to drop him off at home and then run some errands of my own. Then after that, I need to work on rearranging some of my in-person workshop supplies. Right now they're in this bin that's kind of falling apart and I need to reorganize it. I need to sharpen my pencils, all of that stuff. Because later tonight I have a workshop I gotta go teach at a local library. So I hope you're excited. Thank you for joining today's vlog. And again, not every day is as busy or as jam-packed with tasks and errands like today. But I felt like maybe today was a good day to do a studio vlog just so you can see what my day is like when I do have a lot of things to do. So thanks again and I'll see you around. So let's go. Everything went well at the vet. He got his shots. And aside from needing a little bit of dental work next year, I think he's in good health. <laughs> so on to the next thing. I just dropped off all the watercolor kits. I'm really excited. This is actually a repeat corporate client and I'm gonna be teaching them in two weeks, I believe. I'm gonna go home, work on my in-person workshop supplies and try to reorganize them, eat some lunch, take a shower, and then get ready to actually teach that workshop. So currently for my in-person workshops, I use this one and um, sometimes a bag, sometimes two. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to consolidate these two into this big bin. And hopefully this fits in my wagon. If not, I do have just a flatbed cart. All right, so something that I really wanted to work on today was to reorganize 
my liquid watercolor paints. So I only use liquid for my in-person workshops just because they're so easy to use and easy to clean up. And so I just get these from Blick. They're very affordable. This is a four ounce bottle. As you can see from my container, like there's always leakage. And even as I'm pouring out, there's, yeah, sometimes it leaks. And so I'm always having to have a wad of paper towel just in my hand. So I want to transfer them into these squeeze bottles that I got from Michael's. And these are also, these are 4.4 fluid ounces. So it'll definitely take an entire bottle and then a little bit extra. So that's what I'm going to do today. I usually, I only use about five or six colors. I either use magenta or red. The red is here. And then I, and then I always do yellow, a green. I mean, just look at how that was like, yeah, spilling everywhere. And these are just some extras I have in this bag. I have a brown and then I believe there's a blue in here. Oh, these are just some extras. So this is an extra red. This is an extra brown. And this is the blue. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to transfer them into the squeeze bottles. Like, look how, it's like, look how messy this is. And let's hope I don't spill anything. <laughs> looking good so I got these squeeze bottles because it has a twist off so it really keeps this secure and hopefully no spillage let's just test it out real quick yep yeah no spillage there I did get a container off of Amazon so this these will probably be sitting sideways or horizontally like this so I definitely need to make sure that they don't spill but yeah, so far they don't look like they will. Really happy with this. Let's go do the rest of them. I have way too much of the yellow, so I'm just gonna fill it up as much as I can and then just save this as extra and then just store it in my studio because I don't need to carry these extra bottles with me. You know what I just realized? I could have just put these caps on these bottles <sighs> instead of transferring them. Wait a minute. They actually fit. Okay, well, <laughs> since I since I've already started moving them, I'll just I'll just keep it the way this is for now, but I guess maybe if these ever break or maybe if these ever break, I don't know, then maybe I'll just put these caps on these bottles. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they sell these caps just like on their own. You know what I mean? Huh. Because yeah, it was really just the dispensing that was like really inconvenient. Yeah, because this is just a flip up. I mean, this one looks clean, but I had issues where it was like spilling out everywhere or as it was dispensing, it would just kind of pool at the lip here. So yeah, it was just a huge mess. But wow. Okay, I should have realized that this cap also fits this bottle. Hmm. Okay, next time, next time. All right, and last but not least, we've got to do the brown. 
Yeah, I just tried on this screw cap on this bottle just for funsies. And I was like, wait a second, <laughs> it actually fits. So, wow, who would have known? So I'm super happy with these. No spillage. This is awesome. I do have a couple bottles that are extras and that's okay. I'll just, you know, save these in my studio. So I did buy a different container for these bottles, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I'm just going to use that same container, just line it with some fresh paper towel. And then they won't fit vertically, obviously. So I am going to have to put them on its side but let's hope that they don't leak. I think the issue is that, I mean, sometimes it's not the paint. Sometimes it's that, you know, it's sitting in my car and it's really hot outside or it's really cold outside. So yeah, I know it's not necessarily, you know, the paint's fault. All right, so they fit perfectly. Let's get them in this tub. Okay, I have a different container for my watercolor paper coming as well, but for now, I'm just gonna leave them like that. It's okay. I only have one workshop tonight. It's not that big of a deal. And then I have my palettes. I have my palettes in here. I love that this tub is so much more spacious. I can fit so much more. I just need to grab one more roll of paper towel for tonight's workshop. And I think I'm good. So I forgot, I actually like to bring lots of examples with me. So I recently took a bunch of my you know, just paintings that are just lying around. And then I bound them with, and then I bound them with this metal coil and I actually have a machine for that. So yeah, I just took a bunch of my paintings and then just, I usually use the same size like over and over again. This one is a lot of my YouTube tutorials. So this one is a YouTube tutorial. Um, so are these Valentine's Day ones? Yeah, all of these guys. <laughs> and then this one is just mostly florals. Yeah, so I'm going to put these in here as well so that I don't forget them. Got to bring business cards and I think that's it. I'm just going to pack this up in my car and I'm all ready for tonight's workshop.
make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments which part of my day was the most interesting or if you have any questions about what I'm doing.